It's post time for the Pacing Classic Distaff for Pacing Mayor's Eternal Cam Nation, a seven race win streak. She swept the first two preliminary legs. They're at the post and here they come. And they're off and both Bunny Lake and Artistic Vision are flying out of there off the wings. Always Cam from between horses has gotten away well. Third Cam Swifty is fourth on the inside. Eternal Cam Nation has come away in fifth and her stablemate Cinder Best drives up to her inside. Now backs off a bit so Eternal Cam Nation will have room to drop into the fifth spot as Artistic Vision for Luke Willett rolls on to grab the lead. Bunny Lake is now back in second looking to work the give and go here as John Stark edges her up. They hit the opening quarter in 26 seven and one and now Bunny Lake settles back in there to the two hole as Artistic Vision paces on to a two length lead. Always Cam is racing in third. Cam Swifty is fourth and Ledford makes his move with Eternal Cam Nation who's tipped out and underway and Eternal Cam Nation is moving up quickly on the outside. She's now third just two and a half lengths for the lead as they near the half mile marker. Toward the back of the pack is Cinder Best who trails the field and Eternal Cam Nation right alongside of Artistic Vision and she takes command the half and 56 Six seconds flat as Eternal Cam Nation clears the top. Bunny Lake is now racing in third, trying to flush her to the outside as always Cam from fourth. Cam Swifty is fifth and Bunny Lake is on the move with three eights to go. Cinder Best at the back of the pack is the trailer and Eternal Cam Nation is a length in front. But here comes Bunny Lake who's right on her wheel on the outside applying some pressure. Artistic Vision is now jammed in the box racing in third. Always Cam second over fourth, three quarters and one twenty four and one and they come to the top of the stretch and it's Eternal Cam Nation and Eternal Cam Nation starts to edge away opening up to a two length lead on the inside Artistic Vision is full out in second Always Cam on the outside third Bunny like back and forth Eternal Cam Nation Always Cam charging hard for Dave Miller on the outside Eternal Cam Nation fighting her off though Eternal Cam Nation over three million dollars in career earnings Always Cam second Cinder Best third 152 flat Triple Breeders' Crown winner, now cresting the $3 million mark this evening, Eternal Cam Nation. Six-year-old mare by Cam Fella, out of Cool World by Nia Later, owned by the Eternal Cam Nation stable of Haviland, Ohio, Jeff Miller, the trainer, and her regular driver, Eric Ledford, is in the sulky. Eight consecutive victories for Eternal Cam Nation. She has swept the first three legs of the Classic Series, and if she can win the final at Dover Downs, is in line for a bonus of up to a quarter of a million dollars. So Eternal Cam Nation, perhaps the greatest pacing mare in the history of the sport in the winner's circle tonight, taking the third leg of the classic distaff. 1A, Eternal Cam Nation pays 280 and 210, finishing second, number three, always Cam, three dollars to place. There was no show betting, 1-3 exact of 1440, and the pick three of 171, 51 dollars and 80 cents. In the winner's circle is Mr. Nick Salvi, the executive director of the Classic Series, making trophy presentation to the winning connections, Eternal Cam Nation, trainer Jeff Miller, and driver Eric Ledford. Momentarily, Bob Hollywood Hayden will speak with the winning connections as Eternal Cam Nation tops $3 million in career earnings, taking race three. In the upcoming fourth race, Superfecta wagering, exacta trifecta, and pick three. There are no changes. No changes in the fifth or sixth races as well. 13 minutes until post at 8.32. Magic Who, it's Magic Who on top. KD Storm, four three wide from the back of the pack is Dragon's Gold. Three quarters in 125 flat. They're moving on the final turn and it's Magic Who by a length and a half. Shimmering Joseph back into second. Cliff Dodd drops back third. No one else gaining right now. One, Eric Ledford. Eric, first things first, take us through tonight's race. Uh, you were back early, and they weren't going a whole lot the second quarter. Yeah, they shut the air pretty good uh, second quarter, which is kind of what I wanted uh, to try to make the lead if I could from there. Tell us uh, what happened past there. Bunny Lake came after you first over into the final turn. Uh, once she made the front, uh, she was pretty strong around the bottom turn and, uh, and raced all the way through the stretch. Eternal Cam Nation has been great since she stepped on the track. Uh, is it possible that she's good now as ever? You know, I said that a couple of weeks ago, that uh, she's as good, if not better. Uh, her uh, performances up in Mohawk and Woodbine was uh, phenomenal uh, for any horse. So, I, you know, she's never really been bad. So I don't know what, uh, how to judge her. So she's, uh, it's been an incredible ride. What is the best quality she has? And she seems to like her work pretty well. 
that that's it and she has no bad quality she's uh, you don't even need handles to drive her she's two fingers you can shut her on and off and uh, there's no bad qualities about her as, a, as an individual she coming back to race at seven I certainly hope so what about Eric Ledford are we gonna be seeing you here at all for any stakes races yeah the next two weekends I'll be here okay Eric Ledford Jeff Miller all the connections the eternal Ken Nation stable the first female pacer to hit three million congratulations